All right, hello everybody, and welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a pretty simple and short video, and I thought I'd share this, so let's get straight into the video. So many of you guys might be using a program called IDM, uh, Internet Download Manager, or IDM for short. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's a download manager. It manages your downloads. It saves some of them. Uh, maybe you lost a link to a download file. You want to get that back. You want to download it. It also I, I highly recommend to use it because it will increase your download speed by a bunch, right? And it'll also be really, really good for people who have low bandwidth, which means they don't get a lot of internet download speed or upload speed. <laughs> but back to the point. So a lot of people know that it came a while back where you tried to download YouTube videos using IDM, using this. It would say this, you know, regularly you'd be able to download it. But right now, if you actually try this, Look what it does. It's going to sit a while, and if you go to the show details, it sends a get request. And this is the message that you receive. Basically, this message means that you don't have authorization. Exactly, you don't have permission to download this file. The, the protocol HTTP 1.1 and the code returner 403 means that you're forbidden to access some resource on some server. And YouTube actually did this because people started to you know use this a lot. Because YouTube just wanted people to go over here and click on download, which is really good for them, but not good for people. But back to the point, back to the point. So I found a way to kind of get through this. Not get through, but it's it's a mistake by YouTube. So let's see how well uh, they, how, how fast it takes them to figure it out. But anyways, you, you're going to go to their uh, iframe player API, and they made a mistake here where um, if you actually check, if you know how to do code i mean not exactly code but if you uh, go to this iframe player api you'll see that they actually allowed permission for any downloaded file here including the videos so why do we go ahead and test this so uh, it's required here to it's required the content to be loaded with many things but let's go ahead and use the video id so to figure out the video id of any video on youtube you're gonna right click here and you're gonna go on test for nerds video id scp and forget that Go to this guy over here, this small guy. This is the video ID, all right? And it's actually also, um, it's available in the URL of the video, if you don't know that. So yeah, that's something else. So you're just gonna go ahead and copy that from here or from the stats and paste it into here to get your requested video. Go ahead and click on that. And well, would you look at that? We've got our video right here. How about we try to click on download this video? Don't download, download this. This is, video. this is your video. Let's try download it. Highest quality here. <laughs> Will it work? Let's see. Does it get request? Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Can you see, guys? It officially worked. Why? Because <coughs> in, this, um, in this API player, uh, what happens is that it doesn't actually check for permission. It just gives you authorization. So, yeah, it's a human error. But, I mean, that's one way to do it, and I'm more than confident that there are a uh, button of ways to do this. There's actually a way by doing this, by going to the share, getting the input code, uh, giving IDM the link for the video that's in the embed code, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. You have to go to the video and view it as embed. It's kind of weird, but I think that this way is pretty simple and straightforward. If you'd like to try it, send it to your friends, whatever, do what you want, and just, just have fun. Have a good day, guys. I thought I'd share this.